All children have the right to be protected from violence, abuse and exploitation. However, in Uganda, most children have experienced some form of violence and abuse. More than 8 million children are considered to be vulnerable to harm. This is why the government is fast tracking the rehabilitation of child-friendly spaces. Where people who have been abused can go and they can be able to, to stay for some time, get rehabilitated, but also initiate a dialogue or a um, consensus building between the abused and the abuser. The government, with support from partners such as UNICEF, is also putting in place a comprehensive child protection system. We have to open up other channels that are via, uh, you know, SMS, uh, social media. A number of young girls and boys, they are on social media. And it's easy for them to catch a phone, even if it's not their phone, and quickly be able to pass on the message in a, in a very short time. That but there are still gaps in service delivery to both prevent and respond to violence and abuse. We must strengthen our social welfare system. We must strengthen our child protection system. Why? Because there is a medical issue to be addressed. There is a justice issue to be addressed. And there is a social issue to be addressed. Dina Nawire shares some of the best practices that can help empower children in the fight against violence. Play helps children grow. And, um, and that's why the point of child-friendly um, interventions becomes critical because uh, then children start to relate with each other. They start to even open up to their friends and share some of their experiences. That's one step of empowerment. But then introducing information um, in a child-friendly manner and some of this entails um, coming up with sort of cartoon posters that children relate with um, and not just basic information. Nawire says government should target working with people who directly handle children, whether at school or in the communities. In schools, for instance, the senior woman and the senior man teacher, which structures we still have across different schools in the country, um, to continue to share this message with children. Um, making mentions on assemblies. The Uganda Child Helpline, Sauti, received and handled more than 3,000 cases of violence, abuse and neglect of children in 2015 and over 1,300 in the first six months of 2016. Around 30% of children are still not registered at birth, leaving them excluded from support and protection services and unaccounted for in policy decisions. Walter Mwesije, NTV.